How's it going everybody? I'm Wildman Wes and welcome to another edition of the Merch Unleashed. Once again, many, many boxes from 2020 that have not been opened. So, we're moving on to another one, especially for you wrestling fans, because we have a pro wrestling crate. Alright, this one is Masks and Paint number 3. So, sounds like we're going to have a lot of different luchador stuff and a lot of... Uh, 80s wrestlers probably that used to be painted up uh, much like uh, demolition road warriors you know things like that so why don't we just open this up and see what's inside all right first t-shirt <laughs> oh yeah legion of doom oh what a rush oh man and this is you know i'm, I'm glad i got this shirt because i mean as most of you know we recently lost road warrior animal uh, this past year and you know what just getting this shirt I mean it, it feels a lot better because hey Hawk and Animal are now united up in the ring in the universe and they're probably kicking ass as always and getting another championship title. So this next one is what's called an exclusive item. Uh, this one is of Papa Shanko. Oh man Charles Wright. Kama Mustafa, the godfather as we know him best. I mean, this is this is interesting. I mean, it's it's one of those old stickers, especially like um, like 90s stickers you would get in one of the vending machines uh, where you put the quarters in the little slot and shove the, the metal bar in and then you get one of these. It's kind of like that, you know what? It's got a nice little happy Halloween, so you know what? I, I like that. I mean, you know, I'm probably not going to put it on anything. It's more or less just going to be, you know, I might, I might frame it, you know? I frame a lot of this stuff. So now we've got our other t-shirt. We're going to see what this is. Let's see, it says Darby... Uh, let's see, this is Darby Allen. So that's pretty cool. I like the skeletal uh, thing going on here. I think Darby Skeleton... Or this is a Darby Skeleton shirt, I guess, but Darby Allen. Next up we have our Micro Brawler, and this one, hey, much fitting to the theme of some of the... Uh, horror, paint, and scariness, we have the Boogeyman. <laughs> I remember when he was in WWE. I think he, I, I liked him more for his comic relief. I mean, he was wrestling pretty good. Next up we have, I haven't looked at the cheat sheet yet. <laughs> I better look at the cheat sheet. This is a face mask. Much similar to... This is Glacier from WCW. <laughs> the most blatant Mortal Kombat ripoff I have ever seen. All right, well, I'm gonna put it on here. Yeah, it's a little fit around my face. Nope. Hmm, I can't. No, this is, oh wait, wait. Okay, wait, there we go. There we go, something like that. Uh. Uh, no, it's a, you know, I think this is probably for a kid, because either that or I just put it upside down. No, I've got it right side up. I don't know. But anyways, we're not going to try that again, because that is way too small for my big head. So up next, we have our, let's see, this is a lapel pin. This part is going to be non-green screened out, so because this one is of Hurricane Helms. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. I always loved this character of his. I mean, totally. I mean, obviously, Helms' uh, greatest, uh, or one of his big oh, his favorite heroes was Green Lantern. And so, obviously, you know, he, I mean, he, he has the Green Lantern t uh, logo tattooed on his arm and all that stuff. So, But still, I mean, just his mannerisms and his whole... I, just, I, I dug it. I do. Up next, it looks like we have another comic book from Pro Wrestling Crate. This one is called Tales from the Cryptic Closets. Special induction by Killer Cross. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally digging the vibe on this one. I mean, very much similar to the EC Comics and Tales from the Crypt. I mean, even the back has got a nice little Crypt Keeper on the back. I mean, that one is, I would say, kind of a mixture between both the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt and the Creeper from Creep Show. But I'm gonna. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm digging this already because it is in complete black and white, very noir style. So, yeah, okay, I'm definitely, another comic book I'm gonna have to read, very much like the last one we did, where it was a parody on Toy Story, I am looking forward to this one, because horror is definitely one of my favorite genres, and most people already know that, but, robble robble, let's move on. Last but certainly not least, we have our 
celebrity wrestling autograph. So let's uh, make sure we don't bend this thing because it's a nice little folder here. See? This little thing here. Ooh, ooh. Let's open this up. Oh wow, and from WWE we have Callisto, one of the more modern luchador wrestlers, very next alongside Rey Mysterio, who's been a legend in this you know, company, much less the business. And you know what? Not bad. Not bad for this crate. I liked it very much. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs down if you thought some of this merchandise should have been better. I mean, there's always room for improvement in all these, you know, companies that put out these mystery boxes. Also, make sure that you share on social media, and as always, push the red button, and don't forget to ring the bell for instant notifications. And if there's anything you'd like to see on the channel in future content, leave a request in that comment section below. We're going to get to it as quick as possible because we've got a little more time on our hands. Also, if you really enjoyed what you saw today, make sure you check out ProWrestlingCrate.com and check out some of the things that they have to offer. There's different prices for different things. You've got a box that has two t-shirts. There's one with just, you know, merchandise. There's some with t-shirts and merchandise. I mean, hey, take your pick. They let you know what's going on. Other than that, I'm Wildman Wes, and we will see you next time. Take care, and keep collecting.